terrain foliage paint mode that's what we're looking at today so it is the little icon up here which has got the leaves on it if you remember we was talking about the shoot with leaves and that is the one that we're working with today and we'll go through it in order I think is probably the best thing to do so we click on it to activate and we come over here to our editing dock station or whatever you want to call terrain editing docking thingy me jobby flim flam and then you come down and you look at for foliage layer painting that's what we're looking at we're going to do foliage okay so the first thing that comes up is obviously terrain detail so terrain detail is the the type of ground so like cultivated sown plowed that you know uh, stubble tillage the, the, all of, all of those different kind of textures um, to do with the ground bed I suppose so if we just click on plowed uh, and then you can click on here and you can choose the angle so if we go minus 90 degrees I don't know why it's minus why they don't just say 90 degrees um, and then spray type then you can choose whether it's been fertilized have manure liquid manure lime uh, straw chopper or maize chopper um, so let's let's go in let's do it on top of our mound just for the giggles uh, and let's make our radius larger oh that's too large there we go so okay so there we have it plowed all right so that is plowed it's not had any spray type on it uh, we could do it with let's say fertilizer let's put it there so you can see it's slightly darker um, and then right mouse click to get rid of it and hold it down just the same as uh, pretty much everything else or you can control Z it and it will also go so control Z and then we can go all the way back to where we started right so control Z or get rid of it like that okay um, I'm not going to go through all the different types you can you can do that yourself but that is what the terrain detail does uh, and obviously you have your angles and your fertilizer manure liquid lime straw and all that okay back in the back in the old days we never had any of this and you had to go off of a table which told you what each individual input did so two six and seven gives us fertilizer it never gave you these drop down tags you had to work out from <laughs> from a list which what each numbers did yeah it was a nightmare you guys don't know how easy you've got it now <laughs> so um we'll cover terrain detail height last because it's very complicated and I'm not going to bore you in the middle of this video with that. If you want to know about it, we'll do that at the end. So terrain detail height, I will do at the end of the video. Um, deco foliage. Should we do that? Yeah, deco foliage. So deco foliage is um, your basic bits and pieces. So you usually, like... Usually you would have a bigger list than this. They haven't put very many into here, but let's um, let's just zoom in. Let's make that smaller. In fact, let's go over here. Make use of our little plateaus. So we zoom in. Make our thing a bit smaller. Deco foliage we're on. Let's just go with low low grass. 
So that is your low grass. And this isn't what you would use for your fields. This is purely for decoration purposes only. You can, some maps you can, you'll notice that you can cut these um, deco zones and things and sometimes you can't and this this is usually the reason why you can't because it's been done with this and then they will have done it with different types. It's complicated. <laughs> So, um, again, you've got here your limit to texture and limit to deco foliage and stuff. It works the same way as the paint situation. So you choose one, you can choose it and say, don't, don't go over this, but only go over that. All right? Um, so let's say limit to, limit to grass. All right, and then we'll change um, our low grass to uh, that one because it'd be easy to show up. So again, look, it works just the same. So we've limited it to grass and we only want it to come onto the grass areas. And it's not going on our rock face. So that works the same way as when we were doing the the paint mode, the texture paint mode, all right? Very pretty. They look like poppies. Is that the um, Popava Rorius Red? Is that like the Latin name for a poppy? Papava? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That one I quite like. That reminds me of something. Okay, so that is your deco foliage. Um, ground foliage. So ground foliage is your stuff like your branches and things like that. So you stick in your little broken branches and bits and pieces. You've also got um, leaves. So if you have a tree, that's not very not showing up very well. Let's also get that off so that we don't get confused. Um, those leaves aren't showing up well. Which ones will? Maple leaves. No, yeah, there we go. Thank you. And that's not going over our other leaves. Don't know what's going on there. There we go because I had it on deco foliage so we had, you need to change that to your foliage as well if you want to cover it over so ground foliage and then and as you can see it won't cover up our grass or anything right it only does other bits and then if you want it to do if you don't want it to do that you just turn it all off and then it will I know it's complicated. There's a lots of lots of things that you really need to try and remember with it all, but it's um, it's just a case of playing with it. But they're, they're very handy if you're being very particular. All right. Um, and you've got mushrooms and stuff like that. Anyway, we're not going through all of it. Um, deco bush, well that kind of explains it quite simply doesn't it? You want bush, you get bush. So you've got big bush, <laughs> little bush. And the larger you have your circle, um, the more it will put down. So you put them down in a dense configuration but lots of small ones, or if you just bring it down, then you can do one at a time. But you need to get your size in right. All right, and again, use your right mouse button to clear it all away. Get rid of all that. All of it, please, all gone. All right, there we go. That was something 
somebody uh, commented on one of, on the first video, you can go through the map. Just in case you didn't realize that, you can go through the map. It gets very confusing. But yeah. That type of thing you'll work out quite quickly. Quickly after you've panicked, gone into panic mode. Okay, so we've done Deco Bush now. From Deco Bush onwards, you have. Well, actually, no, Meadow. Um, you've got Meadow, so you want to, You can have your Lay Estate again, a small, middle, ready, or cut. So that is cut, so it's just basically uh, grass, double. <laughs> Doesn't quite make any sense, but yeah. Um, or you can have a small harvest ready. There's your meadow harvest ready. Now, this will grow back if you've cut it. Uh, and if you were doing all your kind of hedgerows and stuff, I would recommend putting this down because then it, it will, you can cut it with a, with a mower, make it look all nice and pretty for the council, and then it will grow back, which means that you can do it again. Or you can just set out a meadow field and do it like that. But also it looks very nice. A strange concoction of flowers and things in there, but yeah. So there's your meadow. Right, so from there onwards you have grass, wheat, canola, barley and so on. And that is, oh and then you've got stones right at the bottom. But all of those... Uh, are layer state so they're what you would put in your fields um, weed you can put in two and again you can have the different densities and alive, dead, big, dead all that jazz and you can put that in and they will go in over whatever you've put so they won't delete it as you go it will just put it in with everything else Big dead. That's not what I wanted. Uh, big alive. There you go. There you go. Totally clicked on the wrong one. And if you add that to a meadow, look, it really, really brings it out. Really makes it pop, you know? Gives it a nice, a nice feels. And this is, you know, uh, I don't know if you've ever what if you've ever watched any of my like let's plays and that when we're playing on maps, and I go, this has got the reels. This is what gives it the reels, the attention to detail. And you saw how simple it was to do it. And that's what really bugs me when these map makers don't do it, because it's easy. Stop being lazy. <laughs> Okay, and then you've got your stone at the bottom there, and you can put stones. Big is your stones. Alright. And get rid of them. Right. Um, so let's take a look at our crops and stuff that we can do with our crops we will give ourselves terrain detail let's go with ground type of um, seed bed we'll zip that right up and we'll just lay that in there and as you can see ready to go let's bring that down now this is not how you create a field at all this is how you finish off a field you don't create a field so this doesn't doing this and and adding the crop to it does not create the field in game to to make it purchasable or usable as a field it it's it's not it's much more in depth than that and we will go through that in another video 
um, which will probably be the next one after this but let's just let's just have a look at this so that you can get a quick understanding of how this works but it is very simple to be absolutely honest with you you click on whatever it is so we've gone with wheat and then you you've got it here and like I said back in the old days we never had this choice of of choosing what state it was in you had to input the numbers individually to work it out it was a blooming nightmare so let's go harvest ready um, and then you just plonk it in there that is harvest ready wheat ready to go chappy just like that and if you don't want it there you right click it and get rid of it she's a gone let's try one more just to show you no, canola because it's pretty uh, what stage is it uh, B green middle two green big there we go with the flower look at that what a stunner tidy job okay and that is it's that simple really when it comes to the the foliage paint mode um, it is that simple so now we're just going to cover that last one that I said we would hold until the end terrain detail height terrain detail height will give you your harvested crop so let's say that you went and got your cut your field you got a you want a shed full of grains and this will do that this will give you a pile of seeds or stone or lime or whatever which you can interact with on the map the tricky thing about this is that to do it we have to go back to the old school and we have to work out what each individual number relates to in accordance to each crop or lime or stone or whatever um, so to do that you have to understand that these numbers don't work in number order this is I know this is sounding really confusing zero is one one is two two is four three is six four is eight and so on okay so it goes up in twos two four six eight ten twelve <laughs> all right and then to make those the odd numbers you would click on one and then two which is four now makes five does that make sense I'll do it again. Zero equals one. One is two, two is four, three is six, right? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. And it only goes up to seven. So that's one, two, four, six. 8, 10, 12, 14. These ones are the height, but we'll cover that in a minute. Alright? Now we need to find out what these what each number is. So what is one? I don't know yet. I'm gonna find out with you. What is two? I don't know yet. I'm gonna find out with you. But here we go, because it's very fun. So we need to find out what these actually equate to. And normally I would assume that you know how to get to your your base game files. But last time I assumed that I ended up having to do tutorials. So let's just quickly <laughs> go through this. Uh, right, so mine is in local disk C. We're going to go to program files 86. We're going to scroll down and we're going to look for Steam. And then from there you're going to look for Steam map 
Steam Maps. All one word, Steam Maps. Then we're going to go to Common. Then we're going to go to Farming Simulator 22. Then we're going to go to Data. And then we're going to go to um, Maps. And then here you're going to go and look in Map Density, Map Heights, Types. This is an XML. To open an XML, you will need Notepad++. You can do it with Notepad, but I don't recommend it because it's a freaking nightmare. So definitely use Notepad++. You can download it, it's free. So, right click on that, edit with Notepad++. Do not edit this. Okay? And if you do change anything, do not save it. Because if you do, you have to start again. You'll screw it all up. You'll have to fix it. Okay, so in here we have wheat, barley, oak, canola, and the list goes on. Everything that you would normally have as a tip is here. Alright? It's all there. So, quite simply, number one will be wheat. So that would be zero. Let's go back here. Zero would be wheat. Okay, but to further confuse the matter, we don't want wheat, we want sugar beet. Alright? So you need the countdown. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sugar beet is nine. Alright, so if we go back to our original understanding of how this works two four six eight so one and eight make nine now if you click it it won't do anything because you need to set a height value and the height value is here eight nine ten and eleven there we go now Every time you do this, and it doesn't matter what it is, you will always have this wonderful looking texture, which is a kind of sugar puffs. It looks like sugar puffs with the honey monster. <laughs> you know, sugar puffs. I think they're called something else in America and Canada, but in the UK they were called sugar puffs. So you've got this sugar puff coffee bean grain kind of effect going on there. If you want it taller, then you go, you can see, and they get higher and higher. It doesn't matter what it is you put in, it could be wheat, barley, lime, whatever, it will always give you this funny texture until you go in game but it will be there it will be there uh, and then you can interact with it so you can pick it up the loader and all that jazz and that is that I don't think there's anything else to go over with any of that so yes that's that covered okay you can delete it all again just like you do with your right mouse button or you could control Z it and it would get rid of it alright so that is that for today's episode of Giants Editor Basics I know there's probably lots of other things you want to know how to do and you're chomping it a bit but really it's very important to understand how these specific things work because if you don't, when you change something by accident, you'll know how to fix it, okay? Rather than have to start again. So to, uh, to have the absolute basic understandings of how everything works, it will be much easier for you to understand how to fix it if you do it wrong. But also at the same time, this will teach you how to make your own map if you want to do that so not only am I trying to help you 
understand how you can edit a map. I'm trying to help you understand how how everything works. Uh, and this is this is the best way I can think of of doing it. Once we've covered these basic things, we, we've only got a few other little bits and pieces to do. We've got info layer painting to do next, which will be the next video. Um, but once we've once we've got to that stage, then I will go back into Court Farm and I will show you how to change little bits and pieces and 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 do stuff like that and go through specific little XML stuff I'm not going to go too deep into it because it's it can get really deep so for now we'll just we'll just keep going along this way and when we get into info layer painting that will teach you a lot of very important things you'll need to know for editing somebody else's map to your own taste okay so just stick with me we will get there i promise thanks for watching stay safe and may the weather be with you